Hello everyone, welcome to um, the first in a series of videos because I've recently um, come across quite a few examples of, oh, I can hear myself talking, sorry, um, quite a few examples of hardware in need of help, so um, I'm going to be um, starting with this guy, and again, sort of doing this on the fly, all right, this guy, this is a Silicon Graphics Zero Two Plus, whatever that means, okay, so, I'm going to try and Lower this down a little bit and bring this in. Okay. So, um, on the front here, uh, we've got some kind of wacky buttons. There's a down and an up button. You got your power button here and your CD ROM. This thing is, uh, it's not the dustiest thing I've ever seen in the world, but it can certainly use some cleaning. That's right, Pixels. That's right. The monolith is, is ready for action. On the back here, we have, uh, looks like a parallel port, maybe, for a printer. Um, <coughs> no idea what that is. Uh, VGA, which is very important. I think a, a lot of these models did not have VGA, uh, and this one does. So uh, we like that a lot. I'm already... <clears throat> breathing in the dust from this thing. I can feel it in my throat. Uh, so let's go ahead and as we talk about the back of this thing, um, the Octane was 90% single block of metal. Wow, that, that doesn't sound like a party. This was less, this weighed less than I thought. Um, I was expecting it to really, really weigh a ton. Uh, this thing weighs less than my Quicksilver G4, although it's it's also twice or it's not it's not it's probably two thirds as tall uh, and about as wide. I don't think I've ever owned a computer that weighed as much as my um, Power Mac G5. That thing was a beast because it was you know it was pure metal. Uh, it was a, of course, it had that really extensive water cooling structure inside of it that failed in the years to follow. Um, I sold mine. I probably owned it for less than a year total. So the first thing I bought when I started working at Apple and I got that employee discount, instead of taking the, uh, the stock option that was offered me, that back then there was actually an employee stock purchase program at Apple, and um, this was back when Apple shares, I believe in January of 2004 when I started working there, I think Apple shares were trading at about $30 a share, and um, you know I had the opportunity to buy stock at a discount. The retail and corporate environments had not merged at Apple uh, as they did later on. When I went back for my second stint working at Apple at, at Meadow Hall in Sheffield, um, things were much different, and the, the retail sector was much more separated from the corporate sector. This is already starting to look better. It's kind of getting all this dust out of here. This is Picard. Ooh, this is the O2 Plus. The O2 Plus. Um, looking over here on the side, you can see we've got um, some uh, a dual uh, left and right audio outputs. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a slot for the video output, so maybe that's a different card. And then uh, headphone and microphone. So I guess this is out, or this is out, and this is in. Um, yeah, just kind of clean that. Yeah, do a little bit on the top here. I've also got, if anything is real, real nasty, I've got some uh, Lysol um, 
dealios. I don't know what I did with the Lysol dealios, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, I have a, a Power Mac G3, a blue and white G3 Power Mac. It is definitely going to need some uh, some Lysol uh, uh, wipes. This looks like paint on the side. I'm not sure. Because I can kind of scrape it off with my thumb, but it's also sort of quasi permanent. I'm going to go see if I can get that the Lysol strips and see if I can. I'm hesitant to use a magic eraser on stuff because that stuff can actually eat away at the plastic if you're not careful. Oh yeah, there will be an opening. There will be an opening. <laughs> well, Pixels, I'm glad to give you I'm glad to give you that 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 therapy after what surely was a harrowing experience cleaning your washer. Oh yeah, this stuff is coming right off now. You know, there's a lot of restoration videos out there. Uh, of course, Retro Man Cave, uh, a big part of his empire is his uh, his restoration videos, and LGR does them, everybody does them. Um, I'm pioneering the... Uh, the new restoration video, the live streamed restoration video. Um, and uh, so you can see all the action in real time, no editing at all. Oh, this is already starting to look better. A lot of these are just scratches now at this point and on the side. I can get in here in these vents. Um, like I said, this thing is not that dusty. Um, we just replaced our washing machine. Um, I, there, I had a guy, uh, come and look at it and, uh, he said that it would cost more. I guess it was all sort of rusted out, but I think the thing was only like seven years old. But he said that that's just how they're made these days. They will, they will rust out on the bottom, and then to get the replacement parts, it's going to cost you more than a new machine. And he was right. I mean, we were able to get a brand new, pretty good machine for like six hundred bucks. So that's what we did. Yeah, it does kind of look like an espresso machine or something, right? Let's get the the top of this cleaned off a little bit. get up here clean that off yeah it's amazing I love these um, these Lysol well wrong camera here these Lysol wipes um, uh, they are they tend to dry pretty clean uh, use them on the counters and stuff, and they're real good on plastics because they don't eat away at things. Okay. Yeah, I think that that's about as good as we're going to get it on the side. Let's spin her around. I'm not sure where this guy, this is the same guy that sold Aaron those Amigas. And I don't know what kind of a place he was storing this stuff in. Um, it definitely doesn't look as bad as a lot of the arcade machines that are legitimately stored in barns. Um, the, the dust, you know, I'm pretty sensitive to dust. And uh, I could even, you know, on the way back in my car, I was, uh, I was definitely having some breathing troubles. So I'm glad to get this stuff all cleaned up and not quite as bad. It's time to switch to a new uh, wipe here. 
Yeah, I do need, you know, it's funny, I've got a, a, a rotating monitor stand um, that I got from um, uh, this deal too. A big 15 inch Mac CRT um, that I'll, I'll, be, I'll be cleaning up later. I could put it on that, sort of spin it around. Yeah, that's great, Pixels. You got you get nine years out of a washer, you're doing well. I always wonder about how this particular machine ended up in West Virginia. You know, what, who was using it? Because I can't imagine that there were that many graphic arts places in the area. Of course, it could have been picked up in a lot with other things, but yeah. That's looking pretty good right there. Pretty good. Pretty good. Thanks, Simon. I'm glad to, glad to hear from you, man. How you been? See, you said in the empty boil wash, Duncan. Um, we actually, do you guys, is it a normal thing in the UK to wash your clothes in hot water? Because here in the States, uh, at least among the people I know, we don't really wash in hot water. We, we have dryers, you know, that are high temp. But uh, we always wash in cool water, one, because it's less expensive, and two, because it doesn't shrink clothes as bad. Although, if something's going to shrink, it's going to shrink. Did you pick up any Emmys this time around, Simon? I guess you, you might have heard that uh, Amiga Bill won an, 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 an Emmy. Of course, I guess, you know, are Emmys really a thing? in New Zealand. Like, do they have, like, the New Zealand Emmys for, of course, TV is such an international medium, and maybe the Emmys are, I guess they're an international thing, not just an American thing. I don't know. I've never really thought about them before. Well, that's not a bad, it's not a bad deal. I'm sorry you're sick, though. Um, you know, I haven't. Um, I've never been up to Green Bank. It's one of those places that I should probably get up to. And if we ever have people coming that would be interested, like if I ever had a friend that, that came here from somewhere else that he really wanted to go, then we'd make the trek up there. But if you, if you do the search from Hurricane to Green Bank, I guarantee you, it's like, I just not really knowing, I would think that it was be like four hours away. No words native to New Zealand. Shame. Shame. Um, okay. Well, as I loudly rotate this thing again, okay. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to do it more quietly. We're just going to do one more go through on these vents here. In fact, we can pop this thing off and give it a good cleaning on the inside. This is, doesn't seem to be too, too dirty here. I guess I could just kind of, I do have a new webcam that I bought specifically for this series. This is an, uh, this is a Logitech, it's a six series, like the 615. It's not as expensive as the 920 but it's still 1080p, um, but I like it because it's got a tilt and swivel mechanism. So you can turn around, you can see 
there you guys are on the chat over there. There's this 1200 XL. So I like that tilt and swivel. Um, it will be useful for Computer Club for sure. I didn't break out the 5D Mark II for this, um, but it will be large and in charge at the next Taze Valley Computer Club meeting, which, clear your calendars, guys. It is um, this, uh, this Saturday night from 7 to midnight, live in Amigo Studios. So you guys are more than welcome to just take a short plane ride over here, uh, then take several more plane rides <laughs> from the United States to Charleston, and, uh, and then call me when you get to the Jaeger Airport in lovely Charleston, West Virginia. I'll come pick you up and you can come to Computer Club. I always miss little spots of dust and stuff. This is it's not, I don't have to get every single one, but I definitely want to hit the high points. Okay, so that's good. Got the got the old fan cover dusted there, done and dusted. I always I like that British expression. That's something that we never say in the states. Done and dusted it does give one a sense of uh, completion. Okay, I just need to run this thing through the uh, the other side here. Aerospace 303. Okay. You don't have to run the risk of hitting the mountain um, uh, pixels because uh, uh, you have to run the risk. You run the risk of coming off the mountain and then going straight down the side of the mountain because the you literally you take off and the mountain disappears. That the airport is on top of a mountain. And when you when you get to the end of the runway, the mountain ends, and you better hope that you've taken off. Uh, I've flown out of Charleston countless times, but uh, if you if you if you haven't flown out of this particular airport, it can be quite a frightening experience. Okay, yeah, microfiber cloths are good, Duncan. Um, I just happened to have some Lysol strips here doing the job and plus Lysol also disinfects so if there's any nastiness you never know when this these things are stored in bins and garb or in uh, garages and things if there's any any rodent activity nearby you want to you want to sort of disinfect as you go when you can okay that's done let's go back to the topic at hand here Um, this this particular monitor has a VGA port, uh, Simon. Um, I'm hoping that it will work. Uh, if it doesn't, then the amount of fun I will have with this machine will be markedly less. Um, let's see here. All right. So coming up next, we should probably wipe down this area here, which is that's kind of a, I don't know, it seems like something that you should pull out, but you can't pull it out, at least, oh, there we go, now you can pull out. So this is the PSU. Um, everything, as you guys know, because you're all STI experts more than I am, uh, every piece of this thing is, is fully modular. So you can yank this guy out. Looks pretty clean. Um, this is a Sony. Um, how many watts? 170 watt power supply. So I'm not going to be running the old... Uh, 
the old TI 980 on that, but it'll do in a pinch. I love the modular design of this thing. I mean, I won't try and attempt to put the camera inside there, but I mean, you literally, it's just, it's just plug and play. Make sure I plug and play the right direction. Put it in there. Bam. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Oh, that's great to know, Simon. Um, let's see. It's the new PSU. All right. So let's see what else is in here. Just pull this down and out. Okay. This bad boy looks like that. Um, I'm guessing that this is just an audio an audio card. It is weird that there isn't a video output there. It's like they they made they probably made some models that did have them, but not this particular model. Um, this is going to need some dusting here with the Swiffer. To get some of the big stuff out. And then we'll give it a spray with the old compressed air. But still very clean. Uh, this is a this is a bespoke. Uh, it's not a third party card. Looks like um, this is the Silicon Graphics branded uh, thing. So I'll give it a quick. Slide it. Actually. Little spray inside, and the slider back in. Seems like it's not going in as easy as it came out. I want to be double sure I'm not breaking anything. Okay, this. This would come down. And okay. Yep. Yeah, it's back in there. This be okay. Okay. Let's see what else is here. So this this looks like the hard drive. it is the hard drive. Let's see what we've got here. This is an IBM Ultrastar um, capacity 18.2 gigabytes. Um, looking to see if there's anything. 7200 RPM, so very fast drive for the day. Um, we've got some additional dip switch sections on the back. I don't know if you can read that or not. Um, yeah, it's a little dusty. We'll give it a dust. We'll give it a spray. With the Ultra Duster. Yeah. So this is uh is this a SCSI drive? I wouldn't think this would be a SCSI drive. I think this would be a uh this has gotta be at least an a an ID oh yeah it is. It is, it's SCSI. Huh. Was SCSI faster? Did could you get faster SCSI drives at this time than you could IDE drives? Okay, 
SGI SCSI only. Interesting. This is what you learn doing stuff like this. Slide this guy back in the way it came, making sure that that is pushed down. Oh no, we can't slide it back in like that. Okay. Just getting the corners here where all this dirt is filled up. Just wait till you guys see these uh, G3 Power Max that I have. They are a sight. Um, I'll be interested to see if they have any cool upgrades or anything and what their working condition is, if the drives work. My hope is that out of the two, I'll be able to at least build one working one. I can use that as my OS9 machine. Since my Quicksilver was never able to really figure out how to make it dual boot. Um, something with the extensions. OS9 is just a mess, you know. Um, but I really want to have a good working OS9 machine. So that'll be that. You should, Simon. You absolutely should. Okay, slide this back in. How rare are the or common are these machines in uh, overseas? I mean, have you guys ever actually seen these? Apart from Simon, of course, who owns one. But I mean, do you do you see these pop up at like secondhand shops or anything often? Okay, so this is the big dog here. Slide this guy out. The O2 is quite a rare beast. Well, that's that's good to know. Okay, so this is the main board. We'll slide this this way and put that right there. Okay. So, just looking at this, I, there's no PCI card installed. Um, massive heatsink, of course. Um, I've got four DIMMs of... This is sorry. These are one hundred twenty eight meg sticks. So got four one hundred and twenty eights in here. So about half a gig of RAM. These are this is Silicon Graphics RAM. I don't know if there was third-party RAM or not available. Um, okay, interesting. Um, I am going to uh, 
give these guys a dusting. This is this main board is kind of dusty. Um, I guess there's no way to really tell what kind of uh, CPU is in here. Or maybe they all had the same CPU. If these are, I wish, I mean, why is every computer not built this way? You know, with this kind of quality, with this kind of modularity. Um, the closest that I've seen to this is the, 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 the blue and white G3s and the whole G4 line of Power Max where you have the door that folds down. But even that is nowhere near as modular as something like this. Yeah, you're right. Half a gig in 1996 is pretty insane, isn't it? Processor supports. The 030 code. Where would I find that 030 code? I do have a, uh, it's like a serial number on the heat sink. I don't know if you can see that or not. 0132818001. Um, kind of interesting you've got some adhesive strips back here. about blowing dust around is sometimes you actually blow the dust back into the computer, which you don't want, of course. It looks pretty cool on the inside, I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. All right. Let's look at it from the bottom. Give it another spray. pop this RAM back in here and then my friends we are gonna fire this bad boy up and see if it works and then we'll see just just how good of a deal I got on this back on this on this machine Seated there. Let's go ahead and double check our current, our other RAM. Make sure we're all set. Okay. I'm just catching up on the chat here. The yellow sticker may tell you. The yellow sticker got MEA812. Uh, got a barcode there. Yeah. All right. And this this was, uh, I guess, originally housed in a place that says CADSI serial number triple o nine two two. So CAD maybe this was a CAD company. It's going out on a limb, right? A little grungy here on the uh, floor of the case, or not the inside floor thing. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm really looking for it. You know, I've been so tempted with the Ryzen uh, CPUs and the um, the uh, the new AMD GPUs that are just so great. You know, I'm not a big gamer, but I would love to be able to render video more quickly. And I've been very tempted to start putting together a new system. Um, and uh, when I do, you can bet Pixels, it will have a modular power supply. Okay. All right, and it's in. Put this to the back. Like so. Nope. Uh, again, like. So. Okay. Yeah, I think I am going to need to use a. Uh, maybe just a real light. Uh, maybe just my fingernail. So, as we turn it around again for one more look before the moment of glory, oops, the power of the SGI just dumped the camera over. Um, yeah, the Ryzen, uh, there's, 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 there, I mean, the, the numbers are so good on those things and the prices are so low, it's very tempting. Okay. But it's not over, guys. We've got one more thing left to do a little cleaning. Get ready. Prepare yourselves. Because we've got a Silicon Graphics keyboard that is way, way, way grungy. Okay. So, I'm going to take some compressed air, spray it on and out. I'm coming to the end of my compressed air. Yeah, this thing is real, real dirty. Um, I should probably um, open this up and uh, really go to town on it. But for right now, I'm just going to do some surface cleaning. Oh. Push that back. Okay, and just kind of go to work on the keys here. Have you guys heard about that genre called ASMR? That is like soothing sounds for the tired ear. Maybe the sound of someone cleaning a keyboard with a sort of kind of wipe thing is, uh, yeah, I think, you think these keys pop off? You think these keycaps pop off? Because what I could do is I could just do the same thing that I did with my uh, G4 keyboard and uh, just put them in the wash. What do you think, Simon? Do you have any experience with a Silicon Graphics keyboard? I guess I'll go break out the screwdriver and we'll find out, huh? I'll be right back. Oh.
Okay. So let's pop these screws off. Just so you know, uh, this is this this is the first key. Well, I don't know. Maybe all keyboards have serial numbers, but uh, I don't know. This was made by NMB Technologies Keyboard Division, Chatsworth, California. Although this was made in Thailand, and this is netware tested and approved. I've not opened a whole lot of keyboards in my life. I've never cleaned any, except for that G4 one, and I did break a post on the space bar. I was re re uh, reassembling it, and now the space bar key doesn't really work quite right. So that was disappointing. Oh, that's good to know, um, Simon. I will, I will probably not be attempting any great repair on it. Well, this thing doesn't need repaired, but we can at least open it up and look on the inside. So lift the top off here. Yeah, this thing is sort of filthy. And by sorta, I mean completely filthy. Um, this is not ideal, I know. But uh, that's what it looks like. And... Yeah. I, I, I really don't want to pull... Like you said, I, I don't want to damage this thing. Um, I think it would probably be better to leave it in the condition that it's in than to uh, risk damaging it. I'm just going to kind of, I mean, just look at that. That's nasty. I'm just going to kind of go around the outside a little bit. knows all of the uh, pizza remnants and spilled liquids etc have fallen between the keys of this particular machine I sort of feel like um, what's his name I'm like a, a low rent version of um, who is the guy from the car show that did the thing where he took things apart and then he put them back together again and then he talked while he did it and told amusing stories? James, was it James May? Yeah, James May, right? Yeah. Stiff bristle brush, good idea. Um, Duncan. I'm just kind of doing a very, very cursory cleaning here. But still managing to get quite a bit of crud on these sides. And not putting the thing at risk. Okay, that actually looks a lot better. Okay, so, um, yeah, what I think I'm going to do yeah, is we'll just continue with this top off to wipe down the keys and just make them a little bit prettier.
And again, this is also acting as a disinfectant. So if there is dormant bacteria, anything else on these keys, using the keyboard will not be as much of a health risk. Well, I can't, yeah, the reassembler. Boy, I wish you'd make some more of those. Um, I discovered those a couple of years ago. And I think, that, I mean, there's, the only ones I've seen were the ones that are on YouTube. Um, maybe there's, a, there's a, a billion of them and I just don't know. Because, um, you know, iPlayer, stupidness, not working in the U.S., I'm really looking forward to uh, to rocking this thing. Um, I can't remember if it was Neil's video or somebody else's that talked about the th the the scene from Jurassic Park where the girl is like, "This is Unix. I know this," and it's like that that graphic um, tutorial about how the file system works or something like that. Anyway, I'm hoping I can do that because that's rad. Only seven episodes. Sorry, Simon. I, uh... I won't take too much longer getting this time. I do have a VGA monitor standing by. I have another VGA monitor that uh, was part of this deal, a uh, flat panel 4x3. It is nasty. Um, it is that it is it's in a million times worse shape than this computer. Oh, it may not be installed. Uh, I hope it is. I hope it is. How is my audio, guys? I mean, do you feel like this is uh, of comparable quality to the lav mic? Can you hear me okay? Is it not too muffled or, like, distorted or anything? It's okay. It's uh, sort of annoying to be moving around with that lav mic on. It's fine for when we're seated for the shows, but not when I'm all dynamic like I am now. Okay. Almost to the end. Get this last little bit. There's a really gross part right there. In between the nine and the plus. It's where all the dirty hands hang out, apparently. Okay. That is cleaner than it was before. Let's put it back together and let's fire it up. Yeah, well there's nothing about anything that I do that's retro man cave quality. You guys should know that by now. Neil has, I guarantee you, Neil has more money in one microphone than we have in our whole studio.
Of course, Neil also has more talent in his little finger than we have in our whole bodies. So it's sort of par for the course. It, it travels in, uh, in the same something. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. Pop this back on the top. Whoop. And put the screws back on. Okay. It's kind of interesting. You, you'd expect that to sit flush back there, but it doesn't. Uh, there is a little gap, a little running area that doesn't sit flush there. This is the excitement that you don't see on Retro Man Cave. The putting the screws back in part. Everyone loves it. At least the screws are magnetized and I have a magnetized screwdriver, so it's not as painful as it could be. pants are filthy because all that dust that I've blown off of this thing has deposited itself on my person. Um, I'll have to have a good run with the Hoover, as you guys would say, after this is all said and done. Okay, we are put back together. This does look a sight better than it did before. I don't know, you probably can't really tell, but it does, it does look better. Okay. <laughs> Duncan, you cracked me up. All right. Screwdriver, okay. Everything needs to go away now. Now we're getting serious. We're getting we're getting things ready. Pick up all the trash. This is the Dell 4x3 monitor. We will not be using it. You can't tell so much, but it is filthy. Maybe I'll clean that on the uh, after hours version of this show. Okay. Question. Does this thing have a built in speaker at all, Simon? Because if not, I'll have to do some quick thinking. Because I don't want to miss the startup sound now that you've mentioned it. So Simon, there is a built-in speaker. Is that what you're saying to me? It's an 
awesome shot of my rear end. Everyone appreciates that. Okay, perfect. Plug in the VGA. Okay. Do have power to the monitor. Power to the machine. has an incredibly long keyboard cord um, probably because a lot of these machines were running under desks I would wager sorry unplug the power of the machine so we don't hot plug anything I need to go get my PS2 mouse which I forgot I needed Okay, guys, we got a tiny bit of a problem. Uh, my PS or my PS2 mouse is MIA, and we have no other connectivity options. So, um, I guess we're going to do as much as we can with the keyboard, but we won't be able to do everything that I wanted to because we don't have a PS2 mouse. Which stinks. Uh, I thought I had one, but it turns out I don't. I went to the wall, the shelf that has all of my legacy peripherals, and um, I have an AMD or an ADB mouse for the Mac, but I don't have any PS2 mice. Um, so, yeah, no good. Um, yeah, wouldn't that be crazy, Duncan? Okay, so, are you guys ready? Are you ready to rock? Let's make sure, let's put that fully in the frame. Okay, here we go. Firing up, powering on for the first time since forever. The Silicon Graphics O2 Plus. Hmm. 
I forgot to put the power back in the machine. One more time. Powering on for the first time ever. The Silicon Graphics O2 Plus. Okay. Getting a red light. Um. Yeah. So. Um. So we've got no action here. Um. We've got uh, a red light and no signal to the monitor. Okay, it will take a while. I'm glad to hear that. We'll just we'll just chill, chilling with the SGI. So if you missed my covert ops or my covert action stream from earlier, you missed a real comedy of errors where I was unable to uh, figure out what was going on. Um, yeah, the uh, there is a fan sound. So something's running. The CD-ROM drive works. So it's, it's, the machine's getting power. Uh, the board's getting power. <laughs> Make sure the display is plugged into the right slot. The serious board is the same type. Okay. I will do that. So. Attempting to turn off the machine by holding the power button until it goes off is not working. I'm not really sure what these two buttons do. Simon, maybe you can fill me in on that. Um, there's only one. There's only one thing that fits this thing, and it's the thing for the monitor. So um, let's go and power it down. Spin it around here. So this is what the back. Is looking like right now. Um, we've got two uh, male DB15 um, type things and the Ethernet and the VGA and there's even a little picture of a monitor there but for some reason the uh, the monitor is not getting a signal. Okay, so let's start it up again. Maybe it was just, that was just like the practice run. Okay, we're getting power on contact, which is... Oh, our light has changed. Look at that, guys. Well, you can't see it. 
We got a screen, baby. And we got hard drive action. It's the big green machine. Oh, yeah! Taking a picture. I sent it to Aaron. IREX release 6.5. Copyright 1987-2002. file system. Send this to Aaron. Okay. Is this the time for me to start to, uh... <laughs> False alarm, Pixels. Um... Is it still thinking now, or is this cursor something for me to type? I know I've got a PS2 mouse. I know I've got one. I just have no idea what I did with it. Um... Okay, so I can I can type now. What do we want here? We want a little I guess that's not what we want. No, oh, it's still thinking. Okay. What do the up and down buttons do on the front, um, Simon? volume. Uh, the last line says, well, before I typed in something funny, it said adding swap areas declared in it's etc slash fstab, mailer daemons. And then I typed in win.exe. I probably destroyed it. And it says R date connection timed out the date from NT server is time not found. I would love for this to be an espresso machine. If this was a special machine and a supercomputer, it would be the ultimate in, uh, in my favorite things in the world. Yeah, um, the full r rundown, uh, it says, the first thing it says is after it mounts the file systems, it says, configuring EC0 as WCHS, which is our local ABC affiliate, by the way, uh, render, uh, render 9, then it adds a net default, 
Boy, that, that drive is cranking now. Something's going down. Man, I wish I could I wish I could figure out what I did with that PS2 mouse. Um The thing is it's like I keep all all my PS2 peripherals are over there. Unless I, I might have given it to somebody for some other project. Back to the green. We've got a we've got a, a cursor. Ooh. So what you're saying, um, what you're saying, Simon, is that the I need a special kind of monitor to make this not display and with like this green green cast. Is that right? That's right. Whee! It works. It works. I didn't get screwed. <laughs> Because <laughs> even though I didn't pay a whole whole lot for this, um, I, 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 w I was hoping that it would uh, it would it would work. Um, I'll send one more pick to Aaron there. Okay, so uh, an SGI would it be a, an SGI monitor then? Man, and so the the welcome to SGI is that the, the Jurassic Park thing? That's really that's the only thing I care about. I just want to watch that. The one it came with, okay. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't I don't have that. But on the back it says Weather Central Inc. I don't know if that is uh, what that is. Um, let me check one more place for this mouse. And if not, we'll just have to do a part two. I'll spin you right round, baby, right round. Make sure it's not in my That's right. It is the Bake Off table. I got it. I got it right from 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 Paul Hollywood from his estate. Um, but uh, but yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to do a part two of uh, the uh, SGI workstation where I explore the uh, user interface. Now I'll tell you something great because this is VGA. I can actually split this signal out to. This little guy right here, this little guy right here, a VGA to HDMI in which I will go run through my HDMI capture card so you guys can see a direct feed of what is now currently blurry on the screen. So it's not dirty anymore, man. It's all clean. That's what we've been doing the past hour. Chilling, cleaning, Pixel's doing a bit of ironing, cleaning his washing machine. Simon's here, checking in. So, uh, yeah, everybody's here, man. The sink stripper, eh, Dunk? I'll have to check that out. Now, let me ask you some questions about this thing. So, it, this is running a bespoke um, operating system, is that right?
it's Unix. Okay, so what uh, if it, are are there are there fun things I can do with this thing? Um, I guess I should watch some other videos and see what other people do because I want to do fun stuff with this thing. I just don't know what what I can do. If nothing else, we can have a poke around the uh, operating system and uh, see see how many uh, Pixar uh, work in progress files there are. You know, since this thing probably came directly from from their studio. I could do the weather. That's right. Hook this thing up to the network and start pulling down forecasts. We could run uh, a ticker on the bottom of our live streams. On Friday nights with the current weather brought to you by the Genesis Silicon Graphics O2 Plus workstation. It'd be great. <laughs> yeah, Pixels, you should know better. You should know better. All right, well, guys, um, I think that's going to do it for this e for part one of the Silicon Graphics um, stream. Uh, we have uh, stripped it down, uh, though we haven't stripped the signal yet. Uh, we've cleaned it out. We've got it looking pristine. We cleaned the keyboard. Uh, it works. It fires up. So everybody's a happy camper. Um, the uh, So to power this thing down, you're saying I just need to tap the button? Thanks, Pixels. I appreciate that. Um, I you know, Like I said, there, there's going to be a lot more... Uh, cleaning uh, videos just because uh, you know I've just got this whole big mess of uh, things delivered just to give you a, a, a preview um, or a, you know I've got the two black uh, blue and white g3s I've got a big Apple CRT which I don't even have a Mac that can connect to it um, and I've got a vertically oriented um, uh, monitor also which I have no computer that can connect to it so um, well, those will be, I guess, in my closet uh, for a while until I get a computer that can connect to it. Um, but the the blue and white G3s, uh, they are, of course, VGA machines, and so I can I can hook those up and uh, test them out and stuff. Yeah, it is a shame. You're right. Uh, you're right, Duncan. I wish that this thing, if this keyboard would be purple, purple and white. Oh, how cool would that be? It would be super cool. That's the answer. Uh, keyboard works though. Caps lock lights work and everything, and so that's right. Aaron's getting it done. Getting it done. All right, so we're gonna tap it once. It's blinking. Shutting down. I just love the whole process. It's fantastic. And you're, you guys are right. Half a gig of RAM in 1996. That is, that is unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Um, I remember when I started selling Macs in 04. Uh, there were still tons and tons of machines. Only came with 256 meg. And it was like 512 was the extra update of the upgrade. But. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this evening. Thanks for tuning in. I guess I can spin this. Woo! Spin this. Actually, we can just kind of put this back here. Where it normally goes in its, in its normal place. Yeah, the shutdown was pretty quick. All right, guys. Have a good night. I will see you later on. Adios.